in 2022, I want to win one or, or more titles. Eight finals. Eight finals so far. Your time will come. Of course, I would have liked to win one or more. For sure, we are going to work all the time to go to the next step. I have what it takes to be able to do that. Good morning. We're here in beautiful uh, Monte Carlo, Monaco. You know, it's a great place for me to be in, especially this one at the end of the year that we call the off-season. Special entrance. Oh, wow. Black. <laughs> You guys recognize that locker room now? The locker room, which is actually the players' locker room during the tournament. The players living here, they get to use it, you know, all year long. The Monte Carlo Country Club and the, the ATP has managed to open the doors for the players to come in and train here. Stop! Stop! That's where I spend most of my days. I'm doing fitness. I'm doing tennis. And I've been enjoying it for, for the past three years now. Been here for three years now. Like, I've been, you know, three years now on the tour, so... Yeah, it goes fast. You remember when we were there in 2016, Toronto. That's crazy. Yeah, time flies. Yeah, 2016, I had that wild card in uh, Toronto. My first ATP win was the start of 2018. And you know what? Heavy Paul yeah. Welcome. I remember we did a little interview on the golf cart. We met. Uh, I think we did an interview like two years ago. Play on these big stages. I think it's uh, it's great for the future. It's a good experience. Yeah. No, it was a good memory. Started. Look at my dad behind getting his morning workout. And it was his birthday yesterday, actually. Turned 49 yesterday. Still young. It's a normal day just before the, the tennis session. We always have one hour before the, the session. It's uh, the warm up, so it's uh, activation of the full body. Uh, preparation for the tennis session. A little bit of mobility. We're gonna do some core and we're gonna pass to the court to do some footwork. Uh, finish with the uh, speed and agility exercises. Can you guys not make can you guys make my, my shorts not look wrinkled on camera? Um, <laughs> I put on the wrong pair of shorts this morning. I should have known better. ATP crew coming and I put the only pair of shorts that's wrinkled. I should have more experience than that. Oh my god. How far have you seen Felix come since the last off-season that we did with you guys? 2018. Hi, it's Felix Ojal Yassim, and this is a morning in my off-season. Come a long way. I've grown as a person. I've become better on a consistent uh, basis. What did I improve? Since you are 15 years old, yeah. it's a lot of, uh, lot of improvement. There hasn't been a huge change like from one year to another, but from the first time you saw me in, in 2016 till until now, yeah, for sure, my body has changed a lot. My best friend. We've known each other since we're what, six, seven? Six, uh, yeah. six seven years old. Alexi Galarno from Montreal, Quebec, wow. Canada. <laughs> I, I like at the end of the year to kind of bring everybody together. It's good to have him here. Yeah, to train with to, uh, to train with a good friend. It's always good. So my full team, my agent, uh, my family, my friend here. Write it, write oh. it on the ca Alexis Galarno. <laughs> Done. You know, you know how it's done? Yeah, yeah, we'll in the blue? Third. Yeah, in the yeah. blue, blue box. Alexi Galarno, boo. It's similar to what you grew up with, you know, just the, the people that you, you care about the most that are here with you. You're able to have good times off the court. I'm glad that everybody's been able to come and it's something that's, you know, uh, of, a, of a high importance for me. It's, it's nice to see him progress with the hard work that he's put in and the talent that he has. It was just a question of time for him. So now that he's, he's where he he's wants to go and where he's headed, it's uh, just the process and nice to see him uh, being successful and all of that. Yeah, we're going outside uh, to do some movement. I think Nico's got a couple of tricks in, the in his bag for us, kind of uh, getting ready for what's to come on the court. So making sure like, you know, I'm quick, the ankles are ready and that I'm ready to play. 
d'autres choses à faire, on va sortir la corde à sauter. As an athlete, he has a, a lot of big qualities, uh, like a strength, he, he's fast as well. Je peux mettre un, je peux faire un petit, un petit contrôle, une passe. He has a good range of motion, which is, which is important as well. We also work on the agility, coordination as well. So I think he's pretty complete. Sport athlete, you have to. Nice, parti. What is this game? It's uh, called a tac tac. Why? Because it's tac tac. He's gonna toss it to me, and I throw it up. I just want to him. The yeah. goal is just not to miss. I remember being, being in their position like it was yesterday, right? And now already five years on the tour. Yeah, I look at these guys, I'm like, you know, you have to enjoy it. You know, when you look back, it's, uh, it's good to go through, you know, struggles, you know, and, uh, and to go through this process because you only rise once, right? How's the process been for you? Or how, how it's been good. It, I can't you... complain. Yeah. I wouldn't change a single thing, you know? I mean, maybe I would win a couple more matches. I mean, a final or two, but, <laughs> hey. but it's been good. The dream run in Rio continues. Felix Auger Aliassime moves into his very first ATP final at just 18 years of age, and he's the youngest ever ATP 500 finalist. I've been very professional since I've played tennis. The part that's been tough is just, you know, the, the, the pressure and the expectations that have grown, you know, year after year, and it doesn't get easier. Laszlo Gere claims his first ATP title after a truly incredible week. But I don't think the pressure is unfair. I think I've always put myself high expectations. Yes. You can go down to the spiral of always looking at what you didn't do instead of, the, instead of uh, looking at what you did. And lovely to see that at the end. You wonder what he said to Jose Alicine, probably along the lines of your time will come. This is the reality of the sport and the business. Of course you want a story, you want something, you know, a punchline. Of course it's my story with my, with my eight finals so far. On one hand, you know, it's a great achievement to have done that already at my age. On the other hand, of course, I would have liked to win, um, you know, already one or more. But you just get hit by the reality that's, you know, you're not always going to get what you want. And I repeat that often. And I think it's also making me stronger or like um, thickening my skin in a way. I feel like all these challenges that I'm facing now, I think will, will help me be a better player person in, in the future. I like to believe so. The pressure points, it will be uh, always there, the, the, the big difference. Eh? Like uh, we can see with Djokovic, the best one, they are like uh, very strong in those moments. He needs, of course, needs to improve in this uh, area, like all the area. We are confident uh, that uh, Felix has those things inside him and he has to grow, you know, uh, every year to be more consistent in all this puzzle. The big improvement was the results in the Grand Slam, semi final in the US Open, quarter final in Wimbledon fourth round uh, in uh, Australian Open. So that means that he has the physical capacity, the ab ability to be there in the big moment. So just uh, keep it going. <laughs> when I say stop, then we play the point. Okay, go. Fair. Today is the end of the first yeah. week that we, um, Felix start to play tennis. We go, with the point. Go. We are going to start to introduce point situation, not like the real points. This is a good transition because we did a lot of drills, a lot of repetition. Deux fois croisé, une fois long ligne. Point du corps. Ouais, là, c'était mieux les jambes. Là, c'était bien. Ta qualité dans ton jeu de jambes, le poids du corps vers la cible, là, c'était... 
it's a solid. In the drill, if you play short, then he is going to, to finish or to come. He's moving. Yeah, two and one. Je veux dire, il faut rester proche juste. Il fallait exploser. Même ton défense, tu le, tu le cherches, tu le. Tu l'obliges à forcer. 30 ans feedback. Tac, t'étais quand même bien, t'es passé. Après, tac, c'est ton touché. Voilà, ça c'est bien, ça j'aime. Comme on a dit, tu sais, sur les séquences de match là, tu l'obliges à forcer. C'est toi, tu tiens le cours et lui, il va à la faute. Hop. How physical is this today? What do you, what do you think? No, it's tough, but but it's necessary. You know what I mean? The guys out there are not going to make it easy for me. So I got to get ready. You know what I mean? So you know when the next year comes around and you know you have, you're facing situations like this, you feel you feel confident that your body your body's going to hold up, right? So yeah, it is tough. It's the price to pay. You know what they say, right? This kind of drills, pushing the limit. This is really the, the, the time of the year, like to push the, the physical limits, you know, and uh, that's good. C'est ça, encore une autre série, avec la fatigue. Plus t'es fatigué, plus t'augmentes le fait de rester bien, faire l'effort de rester sur ton tube à la frappe. Allez, allez. Fais le craquer. The last three, four years, you know, to be in the top 20, eight finals, for sure, we are going to work all the time to go to the next step. I was top 20 in the last two years. I've been looking to, to break that top 10 this year, and I did it. So, I mean, it was a great relief to be among those players. To be able to say that, you know, you're, you've been a top 10 player, you're a top 10 player, it's, it's a great feeling. It doesn't get much better than this, huh? I grew up in Montreal, so we'd, I'd be indoors right now uh, with minus 10 outside in the snow. So it's good to have a little bit of change here. You see, everybody's getting a solid, not, not only myself. I try to keep the whole team healthy. I mean, I'm inspired by also these guys because everybody's very healthy. He's talking now that my dad is the chef in the house. So, he is? Yeah, he's the one, he's cooking for the whole team every night. Every breakfast, every lunch, every dinner, actually. In his home country, he had a small restaurant, so he's, he knows how, how the business works, and he's a, he's, a good, he's a good cook. Are you proud of your son? Il faut célébrer, mais pas trop célébrer en même temps. On est content, mais tant qu'on n'a pas atteint notre objectif, on continue à être vigilant puis à travailler vers, la, vers les objectifs. Quoi. Uh, I'm going to put the salad. You This team is growing. <laughs> yeah, we got everybody. I think the last time we talked to you was two years ago in yeah. Indian Wells. We got my best friend, my sister here, Marika. Used to be smaller than her. Uh, yeah, I got and bigger. Then I'm just a little sister. People assume <laughs> that I'm younger than him. Yeah. They don't even ask. It's just, oh, this is your little sister. What are your thoughts on just his progression? It's amazing, but I'm not surprised also. I mean, I think he has the potential and he still have a lot to do. So I think it's just the beginning of something great. She said it's only the beginning. Only the beginning? <laughs> no, I'm like, joking. man, 11's pretty good. <laughs> She's like, yeah, like. <laughs> can do better. <laughs> like, it's all right and all, but I think we can do much better. In 2022, I want to be, of course, an even better player than I, than I am now. I want to win uh, one or, or more titles. And I want to finish the year at uh, the ATP Finals. Uh, so to do all of that, I mean, it's going to require a lot of consistency in my work. But I feel like I have, you know, the, the, the solutions and I have uh, what it takes uh, deep inside of me to, to be able to do that. Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thanks. Always a Appreciate pleasure. It.
this guy is here to stay.